Hey everyone, this is Michael from Barton Musical Circuits, and this is the new Diode Shaper VCA. Uh, this is a VCA and Wave Shaper module. Uh, it uses diodes as its reactive element, uh, in a similar way to the diode high pass filter I released last year. Or maybe the year before, I'm losing track of time. Anyways, uh, this can work as just a regular VCA. Uh, you would set your gain low and your CV high and input the signal here and a CV there and it would work great. Uh, and in addition, when doing that, it also has this Zinner diode switch, which uh, clips the signal on the output to uh, keep it within plus five, plus minus five volt range. Um, and so you'd be able to use it as uh, c kind of a voltage controlled saturator doing that. Uh, but the really interesting thing about it is it has these two knobs, feed forward and feed back. So on the input signal and on the output signal, there are full wave rectifiers. So when you turn the feed forward to the right, you're putting positive feedback or positive feed forward uh, from that rectifier. And when you're turning it to the left, you're taking negative feed forward from that input rectifier. And it's the same with the feedback knob. So uh, you're able to make the peaks and the trows of the um, waveforms be a little more exaggerated that way. And uh, yeah, I'll put this up on the oscilloscope so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so here you can see we've just got a triangle waveform going in, and I've set this to Unity. Uh, I'm going to actually bypass the, the whole module so you can see the input waveform to see that it's uh, pretty close to a uh, regular gain without uh, doing anything to the signal. Um, so uh, I'm going to now turn the Zener feedback on, and you can see it's now like crushing it down and making it this smoother, um, more sinusoid shape from a triangle. So. You know, right away we can turn this into sort of a sign shaper for triangles. Uh, but I'm going to turn the gain down and I'm going to add a little bit of positive feedback to this as well. Actually, I'll turn the zener off for this. Uh, turning the zeners on will actually limit how much signal the feedback is going to have to feed forward back because you're attenuating it with that zener. So let's. Yeah. Let's try a little less positive feedback. But yeah, here we can see we've got these sharp peaks and making this really curvy shape. Uh, but let's try to add a little bit of negative feed forward to that as well, to maybe try to even it out some. Oh, and then look, we've made like a little trow in the middle. So now let's add a little more gain to that. So the knobs on this are pretty sensitive, um, and everything kind of feeds back into each other. So it uh, it's pretty easy to get waveforms that you weren't expecting uh, when you're messing with this. Uh, but so here you can see uh, these little dips in there. That's actually the peak of the triangle uh, being rectified, and then the negative signal of that rectification is being sent back. Uh, or it's being sent forward to the VCA, so it's actually turning down the amplifier whenever it gets to the highest point. Uh, but then the output is having positive feedback applied to it, so as it gets louder, it's also increasing the signal. So you get this little bit of curviness to what would otherwise be a pretty straight line with the triangle wave. Um, and let's try negative feedback and positive feed forward, see how that goes. Uh, pretty similar. And then, oh, well, let's try this with other waves. Uh, we've just been doing triangle. Uh, here's the same patch through a sine wave, or a sine wave through the same patch. And I think my sine wave is a little bit asymmetrical, or I've got a little bit of DC offset to this. Uh, this module has uh, a DC coupled input stage. So uh, it can be used with LFOs or CV or really uh, low frequency audio signals without any kind of attenuation. But it also makes it a little bit sensitive to um, DC offset, which can also be a good thing. I'm gonna now patch it, uh, instead of just straight from the wave sit form, I'm gonna patch it through my attenuate offset module and I'm gonna add an offset on purpose. So now we can get this really, uh, 
one-sided waveform like that. And that's weirdly a, a pretty perfect sign with that all that negative offset added to it. Uh, oh, I was showing you waveforms. And then uh, here's a ramp wave. So you can see it's kind of curved out. You can also make it kind of S-shaped as well. I'm gonna put the zeners back on. Now let's try it with an external CV. So now we're gonna be using the module as a VCA and wave shaper at the same time. So that's me adjusting the feed forward and feed back levels. And I've got a lot of positive feed forward going, so you might be able to hear that it's not completely cutting off the signal right now. Uh, and that's because the feed forward is adding so much signal to the VCA. Uh, so let's turn that down a little. And now we're getting a more complete cutoff, and then I'll turn the CV back up to compensate. Um, and let's try this with a triangle. Uh, and then the last thing to show you is just how it works with a pulse wave. Uh, and it works poorly. There's uh, pretty much no difference. Thank you for watching. This module was designed partially because the LM13700 is getting a little more expensive, uh, which was the chip I would usually use to make VCAs. And uh, I recently found out about diode bridge compressors and was looking at schematics for those. and got the idea for this, uh, including, you know, using feed forward and feedback like a compressor would do, only instead of having an envelope follower, it's just rectified signal. So yeah, this is a very cheap module to make. Uh, there's 20 diodes, two quad op amps, some resistors, the pots and jacks. So there's no like hard to find ICs. Uh, everything that's, that's a part of it is gonna be something that's uh, gonna be available for a long time, I think. Um, and yeah, PCBs are available on my site, and then I can also build one for you if you're not a DIY-minded person. And I've had a lot of fun playing with it, um, and uh, thank you for watching. Good night.